What's up YouTube, Elfley here, uh, back with a new video, uh, this, uh, Road to 20 Premier League Teams Episode 4, which is Aston Villa's last attempt at it, and then we'll move on to Blackburn, and I bought the Blackburn team and I've had a pretty pretty good play with it, and it seems better than the Villa one, I will say that, because I'm not going to lie, this is a stinking episode, it is ridiculous, one of the players I come up with, I just, ugh, he's so sweaty and so bad, but, uh, Anyway, let's just get on with it. Uh, let's get straight in. So we go away and buy our first player of this episode, and we buy uh, Steven Anzonzi for an absolute steal of 450 coins. Uh, I played matches with him, and he seems unreal. So for 450 coins, I think it's a bargain. He's he's brilliant. He's he's an, he's really good centre central defensive midfielder in the Premiership. Uh, very underrated, but uh, nevertheless, here we go. First match, French team. Which looks good. I would actually not mind that French team if I had that. It looks really, it looks a good strong French team actually. Uh, he's done a good job of finding that. But uh, however, this is what happens. Bent picks up the ball and just rolls it past the goalkeeper. Uh, one 0 up within the first few minutes. So we were hoping for a goal first, and it looked that way for a while because we were smashing his goal. And then uh, I don't think he. Rage quit. I actually think he gets disconnected because the game was quite laggy, but it was his connection, not mine. And uh, thankfully, EA knows that and gives me the 1 0 victory. So that's 1 0 of the episode there. And we were absolutely smashing him, absolutely in cruise control. And that happened. So I was in full confidence going in my next game. And uh, this is what happened. Um, sorry, we go and buy our next player and then we'll play the game. <laughs> So we buy a silver central defensive midfielder because there was uh, no gold centre mids or central defensive mids apart from Enzonzi and this kid looks quite good. Again, I played a few matches with the team and he looks quite good. But this team, this team is so sweaty, so sweaty, and I can't understand what he's doing. I think I, I think he's called Low that left midfield. I don't know why he's not in because um, I actually just let let this. Uh, run through to see his uh, team and as you can see where he's my team at first uh, got the Arsenal bench with the Aston Villa players on and uh, his team I was a bit confused with the substitutes he's got uh, he's got Gerard Hernandez company young Nani and he's playing him at left midfield which I can't understand why it, it's a room though it's not up to me but this this game is so so annoying. This player is so so annoying. But anyway, we'll just let this run because I do get an early goal in this match, which uh, is coming in coming in this attack. I think yeah. Uh, Bent the ball law, the pace, the pace, the pace. And as you can see, I get an opportunity to square it right there. Could have squared it, but law I didn't square it. Hopefully, you would realise that, but he didn't. Uh, as you'll see later in the video, but. Straight away, we go again. Good ball though from Bend. A ball over the first time volley, smashing it in the bottom corner. Uh, to go one little after five minutes, and I was thinking, come on, we can do this. I've had two chances early on, but he's so sweaty, he's so so annoying. He's a really bad players, pathetic players, what I would say anyway. Uh, this this is probably his best goal. <laughs> That's probably his best goal of the episode there by a mile. Uh, Rooney just heading it in back post. Uh, then it's our turn this time, a bundle with Pierce Rip, and I was like, yes, come on, let's beat this kid, let's beat him. Get in, a bundle, brilliant goal, brilliant finish. 2-1 uh, up again, restoring the lead, just after or before half time. I can't really see what minute we're in. But uh, literally seconds later, he runs up with Tevez, who must have an attribute on him with that pace. And a sweaty man, a sweaty goal. Uh, scored by Rooney there, just at the back post. Again, quick response with the equaliser from him twice in a row now he's done that and then this time he goes in the lead uh, brings Young on as you can see Young threads the pass to Tevez and this is pathetic a double square absolutely pathetic uh, there's no other word to describe that apart from pathetic 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 uh, but that's what happens anyway I'm, mm, I am complaining I'm going to say I'm not complaining there but I am complaining he's a very poor player but uh I teach him how to pass the ball here. Uh, good passing skills. 
uh, ball over the top of Bend, and I was loving this. When I was past him, I was loving it. I was like, square it, square it, square it. And then Glenn Johnson puts it in his net, and I was absolutely crying with laughter in the 90th minute. I couldn't believe it. And but uh, So we had to go to extra time penalties, and then this happens. Young on the wing with his pace. Uh, passing it to Tevez, again, squaring it to Rooney, I mean, he's just absolutely an atrocious player, um, I don't know how he's got the money to buy all these players, he must be uh, just buying Microsoft points, but that's what happens, uh, he time wasted as well for the last uh, half, the whole half just spent in his uh, in his corner, so bless him, he really wanted the win, so it must have meant uh, a lot more to him than it done to me, and as you can see, that's his thing uh, probably a typical Man United supporter from London uh, Xbox had five years uh, really bad player just send him a message saying you're a bad player but uh, that's uh, that's to him how he plays anyway not me so if he wants to play like that I'd let him play like that uh, yeah so anyway we'll have to buy our uh, remaining players so here we go we, we have to go and buy four players now considering we've just got knocked out of the Quarterfinals, uh, one after the quarter. Uh, sorry, what we'd buy? Uh, we'd be buying one after the semi, one after the quarters, one after the semis, and then we'd normally buy our last two after the final. But uh, in this case, we kind of do that. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to buy uh, our left centre attacking mid, who is Mortis comes Pedersen. Obviously, you can't buy him in a centre attacking mid, so we have to buy him as a left mid and play him centre attacking. So unfortunately he won't get the full nine chemistry, but there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, so Martin Scams Pedersen, decent player to buy. Uh, then we go and buy Junior Hoylet. Uh I can't believe that's his shooting. Really, he, he's so much better than that in real life. He's shooting, his shooting's unreal. I can't believe he's shooting on this game. He's in the 60s. It's really poor with that, but never mind. We haven't scored yet with him. I've tried them out a few times, but. Uh, Hopefully his pace makes it up. And this guy looks a real menace, uh good Willie. With his uh his pace just his pace really, his pace his good pace, good heading really, he's good supporter for our uh, striker who uh, you will all see. Here we go. Uh and I managed to get this striker on a bid, so that's why I missed the thing. I missed the uh recording because I got him on a bid. So there we go. The inform yak got him for 13,000 which I was really pleased for Um, I could just sell him for that straight away as well if it wasn't working out with him but it is working out he's an absolute tank and uh, there's the finished team where obviously uh, yeah I have played some matches that why that's why Yakubu's injured so I'll have to go and buy your uh, healing card for him and uh, now we'll move on to the stats of uh, the Aston Villa team what I think of it and the stats are as follows. I'll just get my page up. Uh, obviously, the coins came to 15,000, which I explained in the last episode. Uh, the tournaments one is none out of two. Very unfortunate, but did get to the final once. And just that episode, there was I came against a very poor player. Uh, the top goal scorers is a joint one uh, with obviously Benton and Bonlaw both with four. And second is Charles and Zogbia with three goals. So, uh, good all-round contributors there compared to Arsenal where we just had uh, the two. So, nice to see other people getting on the score sheet. Uh, rating out of five. Uh, this took me a while to think and I came to three and a half out of five. Purely because of the defence is not good enough. The attack is brilliant with Zogbia. Joining in Albrighton, Genus, a bent in the bundle, or the attack is brilliant, but the defence just gets let down by Warnock and James Collins, just not good enough. Clark's not bad, and Hutton's quite good, but them other two, maybe it's three Clark, and maybe he's not good enough. But the goalkeeper's brilliant, everyone knows the goalkeeper's brilliant, so no complaints about him. But that's the team rating three and a half out of three and a half out of five. Uh, the best player, the best expected player, is going to have to go to Shea Given. Possibly the only goalkeeper out of all 20 Premier League teams who would get the best player because he's he's by a mile Villa's best player by this season as well. 
this season he's just been unreal, especially with being a Newcastle fan. He's he's just he's just brilliant, and the best unexpected player. He's not really unex. Wait, it is unexpected because I I didn't think he'd be this good. I thought it purely this team would be purely between the forward two. That's what I thought this team would be. Bentner Bonner, Bentner Bonner. That's purely what I thought this would be. But the best unexpected player is going to. I'm still thinking. I'm going to give it to Charles and Zogbia. Just Charles and Zogbia. I didn't expect him to be as good as what he is with his shooting and his dribbling. I thought fair enough pace, but I didn't think that. And it was tight between Enzogra and Genus, because Genus did play really, really well. But it just, just went for Enzogra, be a best unexpected player. I know people will say, oh, best unexpected player. Everyone knows Enzogra is mint. But to be fair, he hasn't been really playing a lot of football this season. And I don't know. I, I, I generally thought it would just be the top, the front two, the front two running the show, but... And Zogby was brilliant with his pace and his skill and his shooting. So that's that's pretty much it for the Villa team anyway. So I hope uh, everyone's enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, please uh, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you later.